Want to learn how to add text to your videos like this? Hello, welcome to Gamisodes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like. Now, let's head to the tutorial. Hello and welcome to Gamisodes. In today's video, we will be learning how to add three levels of text to your videos using the free Shotcut software. You can find the link in the description. First, we're going to learn how to add a basic text pop-up like this. You can add these to ask your viewers to subscribe <clears throat> or to emphasize parts of your video. Second, we're going to learn how to string together text. Make your quotes pop. Third, let's learn how to add text at an angle and add cool effects to your words in your videos. Awesome! Let's get started. Okay, so I have Shotcut open here right now with nothing in it. Um, what you would normally do is go to Playlist and open file, add whatever video you have that you want to edit. I've already started a project, so I'm going to open that project. This file actually has a video file and an audio file separate. I like having the audio file separate because I can find individual words within the audio file so that I can add emphasis at the right times. Hold control down and zoom with the wheel. This will allow you to see the waveform of your sound. Now this is the actual clip that we had in the beginning of the video. We're gonna make it in today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and start off uh, with the very first lesson where we're gonna add text to our video. Let's click the video that we'd like to add text to, which is this one, the whole thing. Go to filters, hit the plus sign. You can find text in the video category all the way down, it's alphabetical, or usually if it has an asterisk here, it'll be in your favorites category. Click text. And now you have this menu that you can use to edit your text through. I prefer to change my preset to something like bottom left or top left just because to me it makes it easier to deal with. You can pick whatever you'd like. For this video we're going to go to the top left. Then we're going to select our font. I like to use Berlin Sans FB Demi. That's my favorite one. Pick your own font. Make your channel unique. Notice that in the text menu, you have the font color and the outline color. The outline color is kind of cool. I like to leave it black because I like to have a white font, and black will contrast the white nicely so you can see it in any video background. You can add a thickness to your word by typing in the thickness or clicking the up and down arrows to change the thickness, but notice that that added a black border to my text. Okay, now that we've added three text filters to the video, uh, we're ready to start editing. I like to have three filters because it allows me to run strings, which is part two of the video. So it's kind of important to have a few text windows open. If you don't want them to show, you can just deselect them in the filters tab. Pretty easy. Okay, in the video clip, I want to emphasize one full sentence. So I could find that sentence by clicking play in my playback menu over here. Hello, welcome to Gamisodes. And there it was, the sentence welcome to Gamisodes, I'd like to emphasize as one whole text pop-up. So I had to find the part where welcome starts, which is right here. I look at the audio form and I can put the playhead right at the beginning of that. I'm actually gonna split the video right here. You can split the video by clicking split at playhead or just by tapping S on the keyboard. Now I want my text to display. So obviously I don't want the time code. I'm gonna overwrite that. I'm gonna put welcome to game episodes. And let's throw an exclamation point in there too. You can change the size of it by uh, clicking and dragging at the corners just like you can with a lot of things. And I'd like it to be right about there in my video. All right, excellent. Now I'm done adding my text. Now, if I just click play here, it's gonna go Welcome forever. Welcome to game episodes. If you're new to the channel, I don't want it to go forever. If I don't want it to go forever, I have to add another split right here, and this will cause it to stop right there, and you won't see the text anymore. So let's do that. Episodes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. The last thing we need to do to get rid of it in the rest of our video is to deselect the filter from the remaining part of the video. That way it's only in this part. Let's watch that real quick. Oh, wait, we've got one in here too. Deselect it from the beginning. Okay, let's watch that real quick. Welcome to Game Episodes. If you're new to the... There we go. It popped up when the sentence started. It went away when the sentence ended. Let's move on to part two. Welcome to part two of the video. In part two, we're going to learn how to do strings of text, where you can emphasize individual parts of a sentence. The parts that I want to emphasize are after I say welcome to Game Episodes, where I say, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So let's learn how to add a string of text to our video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If so this right here is going to be the entirety of 
that segment. I'm going to split it right now. This right here is that sentence. I'm actually going to split it in the beginning as well so that the words pop up exactly when I say them. Okay, now that I have my video split, let's figure out what words I want to emphasize. I say, if you're new to the channel, pretty quickly. So let's have that part be one text bit. It starts here and it ends somewhere over here. To the channel, right here, this is the end of the word channel. Notice I'm not going to split it yet. I'm just going to add the text. Put, if you're new to the channel, I'll make it a little bit bigger too. Grammar rules say we need a comma. If you're new to the channel, now I can split it. And what that does is it adds, if you're new to the channel, to the whole part of the video clip right here that I have selected, which is good because we don't want it to go away. Now you can see if you're new to the channel is here and if you're new to the channel is here. Now I'm going to add the second bit. I say, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I want to emphasize the word please and subscribe. So let's see where the word please is. Please subscribe. Okay, please begins here and it ends here, this little dip. I'm not going to split it. I'm going to add my second text by clicking yes, please on that text filter, changing it to the word please in all caps, because why not? Let's put it off to the side for some, uh, some pizzazz. And now I can split it, which again leaves all of the text that I have so far in the last bit of the clip where I can put the word subscribe. So now we add the last bit of text, change it from the time code to say subscribe, throw an exclamation point in there like always, make it a little bit bigger. Let's see how that looks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Here's a little tip too if you want to get rid of these boxes. I, I haven't really found out a better way to do this than finding a different part of the video, adding a filter you're not using, like crop deselect it. Now you can watch your video without having that box of the text pop up. So let's watch it one more time. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like, there we go. So it popped up It emphasized the words and the phrases individually. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. The third part of the video is going to be to add text at an angle and to add some effects to it. So I'm actually done. I'm actually going to go back to the beginning of the video where I say, hello, I want to emphasize that. So the beginning of the video here, this is the word hello. Now, to do this, there's a lot of tricks you need to learn. The first thing is you need to make another video track. I held shift and uh, scrolled out to make them a little bit smaller so I can have a better visual of what I'm doing with the second video track. Now you need to open other, add color. Notice that it's set to transparent. That's exactly what we want. Click OK. The color is transparent. Drag this to your playlist. And now you have a transparent screen that you can add text to without interrupting the view of this video. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drag this transparent video clip to the exact spots where I start to say and finish saying hello. Now you're going to have to add another text filter all over again from scratch, but that's not too bad. So add a filter, text, change all the stuff you want to have changed. Find my good font that I like. Put that thick border in there again. And let's put all caps because we love all caps. Put hello with three exclamation points. And there we go. Now, you might be saying, how do you angle it? Let me show you. First, click filters. If you're not already there, which I was. Go to plus. In video, if it's not already favorited, you want to scroll all the way down to where it says rotate and scale. I have this favorited because I use it a lot. Rotate and scale is exactly what you want. Click rotate and scale. There's a new menu that you can learn here. Rotation, you can type the degrees or you can click and drag to figure out how many degrees you'd like your screen to rotate. And you can also scale it. I like the, actually like how this is right here. And then you could offset in the uh, X and Y direction. It's gonna go in the old X and Y direction before you tilted the screen. So if you tilt it a lot, it's gonna be really hard to use these. The next part of it is to add another filter. Make sure you're in the video tab. Scroll all the way down to size and position. If it's not favorited, favorite it. And you're gonna to go to presets. Don't worry about all this other mumbo jumbo. Go to presets and find shake. You can use scaled or unscaled. 
Scaled is going to make it a little bit bigger. Unscaled is going to keep the screen size that you currently have. I like to use unscaled. And it's going to shake it for one second. So as long as your clip is less than one second, the text will shake the whole time. Let's see what that looks like. Hello, welcome to Game Episodes. A little bit laggy. It's going to be a little bit laggy when you're working in Shotcut until you make your full uh, video file. It'll be nice and clean. Hello, welcome to Game Episodes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this... But there it is. There was our shake for the word hello. We've got our angle, we've got our effect, and that is it. That's everything for the video. We're going to play the finished product one more time, and thanks for watching. Hello, welcome to Game Episodes. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, leave a like. That's it. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed making it. If you did like it, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.